Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. We are doing your, or our, rather, um, energy and advice reading for October 9th, 2019. So we have the moon, major arcana energy, with the nine of pentacles. So, a bit of interesting energy. I'm going to talk about each of the cards, explain what they represent, and then try to talk about what they could talk about, <laughs> talk about what they could talk about, um, together. So the moon, it is a major kind of energy. It shows up when there's more than meets the eye, okay? When um, we, we're not seeing things clearly, most often they're not because our emotions are getting in the way, okay? Or there's some sort of um, like mist almost, like fog that we're seeing th things through. Um, and then in the nine of pentacles is, a, is an energy that talks about independence, self-sufficiency, Self-made man or woman, self-employment, being single and happy, you know, feeling like you have everything you could possibly need within yourself. Very healthy energy here. Um, so these two together, what I'm going to say is, especially when it comes to your stability, your sense of security, your money, your job potentially, your business, okay, whatever it is that gives you that sense of independence, yeah. Um, with the moon, I'm going to say try not to make any rash decisions. We're not going to have all the information about a particular situation we're dealing with during this time, okay. The moon is about waiting things out. Sometimes it can be, I mean, because it does talk about being patient. It does talk about... Um, Waiting for things, planting seeds, uh, gestation, uh, cycles, okay. So this is saying, on the one hand, don't make any rash decisions today because we will not have all the information. Uh, if possible, dig deeper. For others, this will say don't get lost in your emotions and your hopes, especially your fears at this time. Nine Pentacles is here to say you're actually in a really good position. You're in a strong position. There's nothing to fear. There's nothing to be anxious about. Um, for others, this is coming up as a nudge, you know, encouragement to trust your instincts and maybe get started on that path of self-sufficiency, whatever that means to you. Okay. It's time to plant a seed. Okay. Alternatively, there could be a cycle. Coming to conclusion, when it comes to this area, this realm in our lives, okay, that the Nine of Pentacles represents for each of us. And there is a sense of accomplishment. The Nine of Pentacles is ultimately success, accomplishment, personal success, okay, something we've worked for ourselves, by ourselves, something we have believed in, something that was our baby, you know what I mean? And there's a sense of either just get started with this already, your intuition has been trying to tell you this for a while, or you've been doing this and then a cycle of phase is coming to conclusion and you're about to see some results, okay? Especially in the realm of self-sufficiency, self-employment, etc. Et um, this could also be a choice, I'm saying. Do you stay by yourself, whether that means stay single, uh, work for yourself, um, take something on by yourself, okay? Do you kind of stay by yourself as you've been? Or do you look at a, a, a potential partnership? It's a decision. And remember, it's okay to take time to think about things, especially under the energy of the moon, okay? It's okay to take time to think. And especially... Trust your intuition. You always hear that with the moon, don't you? The difficult part is telling our intuition apart from our own fears or wishful thinking, okay? So maybe grounding ourselves and spending some time by ourselves, out in nature maybe, or where we feel sta um, stable, safe, secure, will help bring our intuition to the surface more easily. All right, so very interesting energy. Let's see what happens. Let's see what comes up. I'm looking forward to today. Well, tomorrow rather, filming this on the 8th, um, to see what this energy is about, okay? So um, something else I wanted to ask you, um, I've been getting a really, really great response 
to uh, my weekly videos and I'm very thankful for that. Thank you very much. Um, thank you everyone who's supporting my channel in any way that you do. Um, but I was thinking, would you like me to post all 12 videos at once when it comes to weeklies or anything else? Or do you want me to go by the number of views and post them in that order? Like for example, for last week so far, I think it was Sagittarius that had like 5,000 views, which is amazing. Um, so for example, would you be okay with me posting Sagittarius first and then the next number of views second and so on and so on? Or would you like me to just do all 12 videos at the same time, in which case I would probably do a little bit of an extended weekly for the signs that have the most views, okay? Because I, I still want to say thank you <laughs> and give something back as it were, okay? So just something to think about, <laughs> yeah, something to think about. Um, but if you could just comment and let me know, that would be very much appreciated, all right? Because I'm I just, I'm not sure what to do, okay? And I'm just thinking of options, so your help would be appreciated. So thank you very much for your support, for being here, for everyone who's been with me for as long as you have been, for anyone who's new on the channel. Um, just thank you for everything you do, okay? Uh, let's make the most of this energy. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now.